Okay, the only thing I'm allowed to say that to the public, and this is to the public, is this. I mean, I can't talk about the fumes. I can't talk about anything. Interestingly, this is the only thing, like the last time, I'm allowed to say is this. Hand to the judge. This is a nice country we're talking about with a good judge that didn't give their career up and all their ethics up to do crystal meth and join with Vladimir Putin to try to overthrow their government and their own country and carry out ethnic cleansing of black and brown people. I know the people on my videos often, and I know the people in Washington, D.C. are very often black and brown. But I think, I think, because I don't hear any feedback, but I would strongly assume that many of you who watch these have understood through enough of my showing you that a great amount of the people in Washington, D.C. are involved with the white supremacist because of drug activity and drug trafficking. Yeah. And I'm just speaking facts because that's what happened in our country. The entire state of Oregon decided to legalize the worst freaking drugs you would ever want to legalize. Okay. And there's, there's no bottom. There's no red line. There's no, uh, I don't have word. Okay. There's just no rules. There's no laws to it. The, there's the drugs. There's the really hard addictive life destroying family destroying killing they kill you you die you overdose you do insane things you find yourself in prison in a normal country this prison system now is um ruined everything is ruined here everything's completely ruined here in america okay so um yes my ears are plugged we know what i have to do here I'm not even introing it anymore. It's obvious what I have to do here. So many people in our country who were black and brown fell into the belief since 1992 when the king of the KKK, Bill Clinton, signed a pact, a deal, a secret thieving Stealing, lying, mafia, drug trafficker deal. Not a legitimate legal deal. And legitimate legal agreements and treaties are not called deals. People who are respectable, like the judges that you raised your hand to, your hand to the judge that didn't give their life and career away to join with a white supremacist crystal meth snorting terror group of white terrorists, Timothy McVeigh, Aryan Nation. Most people who care about all that blood, sweat, and tears they put in to get their Judas, to get, I can't talk anymore, to be judges, to achieve this uh, job, to achieve this standing in society, they don't normally throw it all away. But it happened in America, and it has happened in countries in history around the world before when they tried to attack other nations and they tried to overthrow and take over a government of theirs. Uh, it happened in Germany with the Nazis. It happens in countries, okay? Latin countries has happened and they, they arrest and take over the judges and they take over everyone. They arrest people like me. And now you see I'm just walking in the house with keys. So we'll get to that. That's what they're trying to do. Yes, okay? So I believe that I have shown people that unfortunately, since 1992, the king of the KKK, Bill Clinton, set up a silent deal with these oil guys, these people who had an unreasonable amount of money for, for the, the commerce they were selling. It's just oil. And it's, 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 got, a, it's got an expiration date. It doesn't last forever, this commerce, this, this thing they sell on the market. And they knew that, so they wanted to make as much money as possible. The Middle Eastern countries had been watching the United States to take our territory because that's all they're about is stealing other countries. You can see with the history of the Middle East what they do to one another there. They've been watching our country since the Civil War and they knew we had some real problems with race. So they got this KKK guy named Bill Clinton. Okay, they had planned that. 
and they got him in 1992. And ever since then, they've been telling black and brown people five times worse than they ever told them before 1992. Go research this. You'll find out I'm right. That's why I'm telling you this. Five times worse. They brainwashed them and made you all into machines believing that only white people and, and maybe some Latin and maybe some Chinese are doctors. They're the lawyers. They're the judges. All the Latin people, most of them, most of the black people, well, they're either playing sports or they're in the prisons. They're criminals. And they have the black people believing that too in our country. And those are the facts. All right, those are the facts. And that's why I say you can't kill God. And that's why I say there's a lot of black people who said, no, you're not going to whore me and kill my husband. I'm not a whore because I'm a black woman and I'm not going to be your whore because you're the KKK and all you think is black women are whores. Although about half of my community I'm living in believes they, uh, they are your whore because you pay their bills. Okay? We had foreign governments attack our country based off our constitution. We're a capitalist society. Money makes the world go around in America. The, 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 thing, the thing called competition and money got out of control here. We have judges on the Supreme Court, federal judges, every kind of judge handing over their career, their college career, everything they did in life. To be with these drug trafficking new government is what they thought, or to be with the white supremacist new government, and they have really bad news. None of it's happening. All they did was give over their careers and, and, and turn against everybody that maybe they used to know. It really depends because a lot of these people were really bad people for the time they were born. A lot of these white ones, especially the white ones, were born into racism. You have to be taught that. So it's not the same as with a lot of the black and brown people in the United States. You have to be brainwashed to be black and brown here to believe that all you are is a gang member. You have to be fucking brainwashed. And you have to be starved to death. And that's what I'm saying is they attacked us with the money. The foreign governments suppressed and oppressed the black people here so badly that even by 19, no, that even by 2024, okay, I'm doing this with my ears plugged, so please remember and what happened to me, what I filmed today. But even by 2024, they still couldn't buy houses. They still couldn't get loans. They still couldn't go up the social economic scale. They still couldn't get into colleges. In fact, the Supreme Court was chopping down all of their equal rights bills. Okay, it got worse for black people. So many black people after being brainwashed since 1992, said, yeah, I guess this KKK guy pays my bills. I'll be his whore. It, look, it's the truth. It happened here. We need to talk about it. And then there's black people in the United States that are trying to work, not be a whore for the KKK pimp. And this, I can't even imagine how fucking frightening it's got to be. When you have police departments like the DCPD, you have fire departments like the DCFD walking into people's houses with keys and letting themselves out on film with keys. Let me tell the public if you don't know this, but that's outrageously, egregiously illegal. That man in the basement is not here. I have no reason to believe he's here. That shuffling of feet could have been anybody. There's things I witnessed while those people were upstairs. There was two or three that came down from upstairs. There was people on floor one. 
when I was in the bathroom, peepoing again from incredibly painful fumes, there was a major occurrence that happened. Something happened that I can't talk about. Okay, so this is not fair for me, right, to go on the internet and try to talk about what I can and can't, because basically I can't talk about anything in here. But that's why I'm saying it's interesting, because all I can talk about is this man. The man who has three different names and says he has no ID. The man who has made attempts on my life and physically tried to assault me. So many times I can't count them all off the top of my head. I have to sit there and write them down. And that is why I intro this with my monologue to the hand to the judge. I would tell a judge, hand to God, a good judge, a judge who didn't give over their career and their life for a fucking government overthrow for Mexican drug cartel. A judge who didn't give up their career for the white supremacist KKK to take as a government. But a good judge, I would put my hand up and say, no, your honor, I have not seen him. And I have not seen anybody go downstairs. When they shuffle their feet, they stay way, way, way far away from the area that I film where they know I can see if, if it's him, if they're going to the basement. They always wait till I'm in the bathroom, close the door, or my room, just away from them be, to go downstairs. I don't know who's shuffling their feet there. And they do it. They shuffle it awful fast. That guy, I can film. You can review the films. He goes a lot slower. It's a lot heavier when it's him. I just frankly cannot say he's here. And I do not believe that fucking guy is here. And then I saw how they let themselves in and they let themselves out. Okay, now the things I have witnessed in this house that have to do with the basement, I can't talk about. Okay, but I can't tell a judge that I think he's here. And there's a lot of other things, okay? Things are in quotes, things that I have witnessed in this house that lead me to believe that he is not, N-O-T, is not here. That means a lot of stuff and things, right? That would mean a lot of stuff and things that I can't make comments on. I am just to say in this video that I do not believe that man who is half black, who tried to chase me around and attack everybody um, in Mossad, Navy SEALs, and GRU. GRU, the Russian GRU. They saved my life in here. <laughs> I can testify, hand to judge. I saw him do that for years, but I cannot say I've seen him in this house. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>